I can't imagine him coming to the Chantry's defense. Not after all that's occurred. Return to Haven. Someone will need to inform them if we are delayed. As you say, my lady. And wary guardsman. The Inquisition is here, along with the Herald of Andraste. That's the mage they say killed the Divine? Let him pass. The Inquisition is the Templar's problem, and they'll fix it. This Inquisition is heresy. You will not look on my doubt. As you are the only ones who appear to care about the hole in the sky. But the Chantry is insistent. Good people of Val Royal, hear me. Together, we mourn our divine. A naive and beautiful heart, silenced by treachery. You wonder what will become of a murderer. Well, wonder no more. Behold, the so-called Herald of Andraste, claiming to rise where our beloved fell. We say this is a false prophet. The Maker would say no mage in our hour of need. We came here in peace, simply to talk. And this is what you do? I implore you, let us sit down together to deal with the real threat. It's true. The Inquisition seeks only to end this madness before it is too late. It is already too late. The Templars have returned to the Chantry. They will face this Inquisition and the people will be safe once more. Still yourself. She is beneath us. What's the meaning of this? Her claim to authority is an insult, much like your own. Lord Seeker Lucius, it's imperative that we speak with... You will not address me. Lord Seeker? Creating a heretical movement, raising up a puppet as Andraste's prophet, you should be ashamed. You should all be ashamed. The Templars failed no one when they left the Chantry to purge the mages. You are the ones who have failed. You who'd leash our righteous swords with doubt and fear. 
If you came to appeal to the Chantry, you are too late. The only destiny here that demands respect is mine. What we truly need is an alliance that will seal the breach. Oh, the breach is indeed a threat. But you certainly have no power to do anything about it. But Lord Seeker, what if he really was sent by the Maker? What if... You are called to a higher purpose. Do not question. I will make the Templar Order a power that stands alone against the Void. We deserve recognition. Independence. You have shown me nothing, and the Inquisition less than nothing. Templars, Val Royo is unworthy of our protection. We march. Charming fellow, isn't he? Has Lord Seeker Lucius gone mad? Do you know him very well? He took over the Seekers of Truth two years ago, after Lord Seeker Lambert's death. He was always a decent man, never given to ambition and grandstanding. This is very bizarre. Do you think he can be reasoned with? I hope so. If not him, there are surely others in the Order who don't feel as he does. Either way, we should first return to Haven and inform the others. Excuse me, but is what they're saying real? The Inquisition's going to fix the hole in the sky? That's what we're attempting, yes. No one is doing anything. The Chantry's useless, and the Templars... Andraste. I never thought they'd abandon us. Listen, your camp will need food. I have contacts. We'll have deliveries there in days. You want to help the Inquisition? Never been part of something this big before, but... If your Inquisition's going to seal the sky, I want to help. What do you think, Cassandra? I think the woman is asking you, and not me. Well, he is... The Herald of Andraste. Yes, I understand. Haven is a mess, but we won't turn away anyone willing to help. Invite her, if it pleases you. Head to Haven, then. We need good people. I don't know if I'm that, but it will be nice to see. Thank you. Ever since our divine was murdered, toothless old fools are lost without her. Well, that was... What's that? An arrow with a message? Find friends among the stunned and reeling. It seems change is on the wind. I wish your leaders well. This victory must please you greatly, Sika Cassandra. We came here seeking only to speak with the mothers. This is not our doing, but yours. 
And you had no part in forcing our hand? Do not delude yourself. Now we have been shown up by our own Templars, in front of everyone. And my fellow clerics have scattered to the wind along with their convictions. Just tell me one thing. Do you truly believe you are the Maker's Chosen? To tell you the truth, I don't know. That is... more comforting than you might imagine. I suppose it is out of our hands now. We shall all see what the Maker plans in the days to come. How many Templars turned on the Chantry, exactly? <laughs> they rebelled across Thedas. Some remained loyal, but not enough to call them the Order. The White Spire here in the capital was the largest garrison, but now it stands empty. Perhaps more shall flock to the Lord Seeker's banner now. How far has faith waned, I wonder? How are people responding to all of this? Despair. Fear. We mourn her holiness. The people look to the sky and wonder how long before terror comes for us all. There must be a way through this. Is it you? The Templars? The Maker's will? We abandoned our duties. We servants of the faith. Now we can only pray. You're obviously skeptical. What do you believe I am? Our Divine. Her Holiness is dead. I have seen evidence for everything, except what would comfort me. That doesn't answer my question. For you to be true, a great many things must be false. And if you are false, a great many things must have failed. There is chaos ahead, whatever your intentions. So what happens now? Will the Chantry continue to denounce me? <laughs> we have already done so. And what good has it done us? Now it falls on us to select a new divine, if we can. And leave the next step to her. Provided such a selection is even possible. I truly don't know. Any revered mother who could have followed Justinia died at the Conclave. What becomes of us, and your Inquisition, is in the Maker's hands now. Where is the Lord Seeker taking the Templars? I can't begin to guess the Lord Seeker's mind. He could not have abandoned his intended role more completely. There must be sense to what we can't see. Must there? Rebellion seems popular in certain quarters, doesn't it, Seeker? Is crafting the Templars into a new power really any worse than declaring a rival to the Chantry itself? What were you hoping the Lord Seeker would do, exactly? Put aside his war against the mages and find common purpose against something much more dire. Obviously, he has other plans. With the knights vigilant slain at the Conclave, there is nothing more we can do. Perhaps there is something we can do. I'd like to believe that, Seeker. I truly would. I suppose we can expect renewed effort against the mages from him. And yet, more chaos. There's got to be a way to calm everything down and clean up this mess. I hope against hope that may be the case. Leave me be, survivor. Your presence here is not comforting. It's not too late. The Chantry could still help us and come out on top. If only that were true. What's to stop you from trying? We are not looking for a winning horse. We are simply trying to do the right thing.
Might be something here. Better take a closer look. I believe that messenger is trying to get our attention. Our divine was murdered. Toothless old fools are lost without her. The Chantry has just shown themselves Who will fetch their Templars back? My maker, know my heart. Take from me a life of sorrow. Comfort is only yours to give. Oh, maker, where is the comfort? Look away. I have broken the chant because it comes from my heart. What have we when our divine is dead and the sky burns? What do you mean you broke the chant? Are you also ignorant of the Maker's most basic rites? The chant of light is how we honor the Maker. They are the only words that the faithful should hear from my lips. But I can't. Our divine is dead. Our Templars gone. The Maker's silence is deafening. What hope have we? The Inquisition can give you the answers you need. So I have a faith I've lost. Or one that seeks to drive it from me. I can't even look to our Templars. How is this not darkness? The Templars didn't even touch you. You are the Herald of Andraste, are you not? I have an invitation for you.
I am open to you and yours. I price it a premium for everyone, so don't assume it's because you're with the Inquisition. I expect my customers to know a rarity when they see it, just as I do. If I might have a moment of your time. Grand Enchanter Fiona? Leader of the Mage Rebellion. Is it not dangerous for you to be here? I heard of this gathering, and I wanted to see the fabled Herald of Andraste with my own eyes. If it's help with the breach you seek, perhaps you should look among your fellow mages. I'm surprised the leader of the mages wasn't at the Conclave. Yes. You were supposed to be, and yet somehow you avoided death. As did the Lord Seeker, you'll note. Both of us sent negotiators in our stead in case it was a trap. I won't pretend I'm not glad to live. I lost many dear friends that day. It disgusts me to think the Templars will get away with it. I'm hoping you won't let them. So you think the Templars are responsible? Why wouldn't she? Lucius hardly seems broken up over his losses, if he's concerned about them at all. You heard him. You think he wouldn't happily kill the Divine to turn people against us? So yes, I think he did it. More than I think you did it, at any rate. The mages weren't willing to talk to the Inquisition before. Why now? Because now I've seen what you are. And I've seen the Chantry for what it is. Consider this an invitation to Redcliffe. Come, meet with the mages. An alliance could help us both, after all. I hope to see you there. Au revoir, my Lord Herald. Come, let us return to Haven. Well, this has all been a frustrating mess. Templars and Chantry and especially the mages, just everything. I apologize if you were refused service, but we are now open for business. Especially if you put my words to use. Hear my cry. Sit me by your side in death. Make me one within your glory. And I know what you are. Once more, see your favor.
Then, uh, yes, as open as I can be. Uh, if you've a need for the well cut or the sparkling, perhaps I can help. At least we can appear like everything is normal. We maintain an Inquisition presence on Commander Cullen's orders. This has been received as you might expect. Yes, I'm sorry. Minding the duties of the ailing mother, Havara, I am rather overwhelmed. Forgive me, I am unsure whether I meant to extend chantry services to you, and that troubles me greatly. Will it matter?
Inquisition, eh? I'll sell. But if the Chantry censures you, I'm not liable. No offense, but I have to live here, and Val Royo can be traditional. Is this a shop? Uh, I maintain a premises wherein customers of a certain affluence entertain the purchase of my ware. So yes, a uh, shop. Very well. What do you have for sale? I have one item available for purchase. It is far too expensive for it merely to be sold. You may gaze upon it and dream of the wealth required to possess it, as have lords and kings. And then you may leave and purchase things from shops more aligned with your station. So you sell one very expensive item. And it's worth it? Let me now interrupt the inevitable defense of your thrift. I'm sure you have treasures, and you will have many more. You could parade them from here to Halam Shiral, but none of that would allow you to say you have purchased this. The item is irrelevant. The price is worth it. I can't see it. Tell me what it is. If you have to ask, you are not the one to buy it. I need to know if I can use it. And again, the point is missed. If mere use is your concern, you should go elsewhere. The person who claims this will not be known for using it. They will be known because they paid for it. How do you keep the doors open on a shop with one item? My shop is a destination. Luminaries of every description journey here to see what is denied to them. Some pay tribute in the vain hope I will barter. They do not have the will to pay the price. They require a bargain to justify the spend, to ease their conscience. That would defeat the entirety of the purpose. I don't see why this is special. Anyone can overprice something. To overprice an item, the item must have a known value already. It is then priced over what it is worth. This, this has only the value I have set. It has never had another. It is not overpriced. It is priced. Well, goodbye then. Yes.
power over the very fade itself. Though they sang hymns of praise unending, though they could do anything, they Ah, the Herald of Andraste. Is there something I might help you with? No, thank you, sister. Make her go with you.
Andres Day. How much did you expend to discover me? It must have weakened the Inquisition immeasurably. I don't know who you are. You don't fool me. I'm too important for this to be an accident. My efforts will survive in victories against you elsewhere. Just say what? What is the... Ugh! Oh, squishy one, but you heard me, right? Just say what? Rich tits always try for more than they deserve. Blah, blah, blah! Obey me. Arrow in my face. So, you followed the notes well enough. Glad to see you're... You're kind of plain, really. All that talk, and then you're just... person. I mean, it's all good, isn't it? The important thing is, you glow. You're the Herald thingy. They say I'm the Herald of Andraste. But who are you? And what's this about? No idea. I don't know this idiot from Manners. My people just said the Inquisition should look at him. Your people? Elves? <laughs> no. People, people. Name's Sarah. This is cover. Get round it. Put the reinforcements. Don't worry. Someone tipped me their equipment shed. They've got no breaches. Why didn't you take their weapons? really came through with that tip. No breaches. <laughs> so, Herald of Andraste. You're a strange one. I'd like to join. How about we get to know each other first? You know, names and such. One name. No, wait, two. It's... Well, it's like this. I sent you a note to look for hidden stuff by my friends. The friends of Red Jenny. That's me. Well, I'm one. So is a fence in Montfort, some woman in Kirkwall. There were three in Starkhaven, brothers or something. It's just a name, yeah? It lets little people, friends, be part of something while they stick it to nobles they hate. So here, in your face, I'm Sarah. The friends of Red Jenny are sort of out there. I use them to help you. Plus arrows. The Inquisition already has friends in high places. Can you add to that prestige? Here's how it is. You important people are up here, shoving your cods around. Blah, blah, I'll crush you, I'll crush you. Mm -hmm. Ooh, crush you. <clears throat> Step down, you've got big lords with big purses, like the tit we killed. Or was he one of the endless arse lickers who follow? Doesn't matter. His grand plan was ruined by scrap torn from his desk and a red sock by someone who couldn't read it. So no, I'm not Lord Pontyfart or Ruffled, but if you don't listen down here too, you risk your breeches. Like those guards, I stole their... Look, do you need people or not? I want to get everything back to normal, like you. So who are your friends of Red Jenny? You must know them. Oh, it's not hard to understand if you're not trying to waste your day on it. Someone little always hates someone big. And unless you don't eat, sleep or piss, you're never far from someone little. Doesn't always work out, but a lot of people hated this guy. Someone got a laugh, someone got even, someone got paid. And someone has to have it explained to them that free help is good. Back there you wanted to know if I glow. Why? That's what you do, innit? You walked out of somewhere, and now you glow. Andraste's herald. True or not, it seemed like the easiest way to know it was you. True or not? Well, that's what they say and all. Look, don't get ahead yet. I want to help this... whatever it is. Inquisition. All right, Sarah. I can use you and your friends. Yes! Getting good before you're too big to like. That'll keep your breaches where they should be. Plus extra breaches because I have all these. 
You have merchants who buy that fish, yeah? Got to be worth something. Anyway, Haven. See you there, Herald. This will be grand. Lord Trevelyan of Ostwick, representing the Inquisition. A pleasure, sir. We so rarely have a chance to meet anyone new. It is always the same crowd at these parties. So you must be a guest of Madame de Fer. Or are you here for Duc Bastien? Are you here on business? I have heard the most curious tales of you. I cannot imagine half of them are true. What have you heard about me? Some say that when the veil opened, Andraste herself delivered you from the Fade. I'm not familiar with that name. I was invited here by First Enchanter Vivienne. Madame de Fer is a fond nickname the court has given Lady Vivienne. I've heard she finds it amusing. I've heard very little about Duke Bastien. He hasn't been seen much at court lately. His business with the Council of Heralds often takes him from home for long periods. It can't be good for a man of his years. And of course, there's the civil war. Bastien probably wishes to distance himself from the actions of his one-time son-in-law. Tearing up the Dales in a foolish bid for power? It will end in disgrace for Gaspar. Everyone knows it. Some of those storytellers may have gotten carried away. But only for the best effect. The Inquisition is a ripe subject for wild tales. The Inquisition. What a lot of pig shit. Washed up sisters and crazed seekers. No one can take them seriously. Everyone knows it's just an excuse for a bunch of political outcasts to grab power. The Inquisition is working to restore peace and order to Thetis. Here comes the outsider, restoring peace with an army. We know what your Inquisition truly is. If you were a man of honor, you'd step outside and answer the charges. My dear Marquis, how unkind of you to use such language in my house to my guests. You know such rudeness is intolerable. Uh, Madame Vivienne, I humbly beg your pardon. You should. Whatever am I going to do with you, my dear? My lord, you're the wounded party in this unfortunate affair. 
What would you have me do with this foolish, foolish man? I think the Marquis has seen the error of his ways. By the grace of Andraste, you have your life, my dear. Do be more careful with it. <laughs> I'm delighted you could attend this little gathering. I've so wanted to meet you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Vivienne, first enchanter of Mont-Simard, an enchantress to the Imperial Court. Is that Marquis going to pose a problem? His aunt is the Vicomtesse of Mont de Glace. Not a powerful family, but well respected. And very devout. Alphonse will be disowned for this. It's not the first time he's brought his aunt disgrace, but I'm sure it'll be the last. And after such a public humiliation, I expect he'll run off to the Dales to join the Empress's war effort. Either to make a good end, or to win back a modicum of self-respect. Charmed, Lady Vivian. Ah, but I didn't invite you to the Chateau for pleasantries. With Divine Justinia dead, the Chantry's in shambles. Only the Inquisition might restore sanity and order to our frightened people. As the leader of the last loyal mages of Thedas, I feel it only right that I lend my assistance to your cause. Is your interest in the Inquisition, Madame de Fair, or is it more personal? <laughs> Aren't you charming? <laughs> it's professional, of course. What exactly can you do for the Inquisition? I am well versed in the politics of the Orlesian Empire. I know every member of the Imperial Court personally. I have all the resources remaining to the Circle at my disposal. And I am a mage of no small talent. Will that do? Does that mean you'd be aiding the Inquisition from the Imperial Palace? Ordinarily, I would be happy to serve as liaison to the Court, but these are not ordinary times. The veil has been ripped apart, and there is a hole in the sky. It is now the duty of every mage to work towards sealing the breach. And so I would join the Inquisition on the field of battle. You say you led the last of the loyal mages. Loyal to whom? To the people of Thedas, of course. We have not forgotten the commandment, as some have, that magic exists to serve man. I support any effort to restore such order. So you're in favor of returning the mages to the Circle, then? Where else can mages safely learn to master their talents? We need an institution to protect and nurture magic. Maker knows. Magic will find neither on its own. What's in this for you? The same thing anyone gets by fighting this chaos. The chance to meet my enemy, to decide my fate. I won't wait quietly for destruction. Are you devout? What's your opinion of the Chantry? I was a great admirer of the late divine Justinia V. The Chantry, at its best, unites the disparate cultures of Thedas and looks after its most vulnerable. Had she lived, Justinia could have accomplished so much. You are aware that the Chantry hasn't sanctioned this Inquisition. The Chantry is leaderless. They're in no position to officially sanction anything. Besides, my dear, if there is one virtue the Chant of Light teaches us, it is forgiveness. Once the Inquisition has sealed the breach, I am sure the new Divine will not care in the slightest about official permission. The Inquisition will be happy to have you, Lady Vivian. Great things are beginning, my dear. I can promise you that.
worried about the rifts. I understand that. I've never even seen Orzammar. But dwarves don't have mages, so magic likely isn't a big problem. Too many wounded, and not enough bandages to go around. Start tearing up shirts, then. If the Inquisition can afford fancy new uniforms, it can afford bandages. It's good you've returned. We heard of your encounter. You heard? My agents in a city sent word ahead, of course. It's a shame the Templars have abandoned their senses, as well as the capital. We had to do something, and now we have an opportunity. Yes, and we have the opening we need to approach the Templars and the mages. Do we? Lord Seeker Lucius is not the man I remember. True, he has taken the order somewhere, but to do what? My reports have been very odd. We must look into it. I'm certain not everyone in the order will support the Lord Seeker. Or the Herald could simply go to meet the mages in Redcliffe instead. You think the Mage Rebellion is more united? It could be ten times worse. Or you could stop bickering and make a decision. I agree. We shouldn't discount Redcliffe. The mages may be worth the risk. They are powerful, Ambassador, but more desperate than you realize. You think the invitation could be some kind of trap? If some among the rebel mages were responsible for what happened at the Conclave, the same could be said about the Templars. True enough. Right now, I'm not certain we have enough influence to approach the Order safely. Then the Inquisition needs agents in more places. That's something you can help with. In the meantime, we should consider other options. There is one other matter. Several months ago, the Grey Wardens of Ferelden vanished. I sent word to those in Orlais but they have also disappeared. Ordinarily, I wouldn't even consider the idea they're involved in all this, but the timing is curious. And does sound odd, I agree. The others have disregarded my suspicion, but I cannot ignore it. Two days ago, my agents in the Hinterlands heard news of a Grey Warden by the name of Blackwall. If you have the opportunity, please seek him out. Perhaps he can put my mind at ease. And if he can't? Then there may be more going on than we thought.
Let's see what we have. At your service. All right. Greetings, Herald of Andraste. Farewell, revered mother. Make her go with you. If you find anything, please bring it in. My creator, judge me whole. Find me well within your grace. Touch me with fire that I be cleansed. Excuse me. me I I've got a message for the Inquisition, but I'm having a hard time getting anyone to talk to me. Who are you, soldier? Comissius Aklasi with the Bulls Chargers Mercenary Company. We mostly work out of Ole and Navarra. We've got word of some Tevinter mercenaries gathering out on the Storm Coast. My company commander, Iron Bull, offers the information free of charge. If you'd like to see what the Bull's charges can do for the Inquisition, meet us there and watch us work. What can your Bull's chargers offer the Inquisition? We're loyal, we're tough, and we don't break contracts. Ask around Val Royale. We've got references. What should I know about your commander? Iron Bull? He's one of those Canari, the big guys with the horns. He leads from the front, he pays well, and he's a lot smarter than the last bastard I worked for. Best of all, he's professional. We accept contracts with whoever makes the first real offer. You're the first time he's gone out of his way to pick a side. Why did your commander send us this information? Iron Bull wants to work for the Inquisition. He thinks you're doing good work. I look forward to meeting this Iron Bull. We're the best you'll find. Come to the Storm Coast and you can see us in action. Try not to antagonize him. If I have found him out so easily, perhaps he should try leaving me alone. 